हमें उसी जन्म का इंतजार है जब कचरों की होगी चोरी और कचरों की होगी तस्करी जब सारे लोग भारत के लोग when the people of India, the students and the teachers, the guardians will learn the art and science of converting garbage into gold by knowing the appropriate technology, something like recycling of wastes. Only then we will be able to create more jobs because number of jobs in the government sector is shrinking every day. And every guardian longs to see that yes, their sons and daughters would get a government job. There is no need. You have to be a job giver rather than a job seeker. The way we have been advocating for creating more number of job givers rather than job seekers in the country for the last 30 years, of late we saw that our learned Prime Minister, Mr. Narendra Modi, is also saying that we have to be job protectors, nothing but job givers. There is no need to be a job seeker. But even if we seek jobs, the jobs should be in the area of environmental protection, alternate energy resource development. We should manufacture and we should maintain the pollution control equipment. In that sector also we will be able to need many, many jobs. For that matter, if we talk of cleanliness, hygiene and sanitation, the way our Prime Minister has started on 2nd October 2014, the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan, with a view to cleaning not only the houses, the schools and colleges, the industries, the temples and the mosques and gurudwaras, and for that matter, you know, the churches or any other place of religious importance. We have to see that the entire world is clean. For that matter, we are working day and night by having training programs at certificate, diploma, postgraduate diploma, bachelor's, master's and doctorate degrees, not only in the area of cleanliness, hygiene, sanitation, but also in the selected areas of ecology, environment, disaster management, sustainable development, peace studies, conflict resolution, bioinformatics, bioinformatics, geoinformatics, intellectual property rights, human rights, there are many areas which are upcoming areas relating to environmental protection. So once we create more number of jobs in these sectors, only then we will be able to achieve the milestone of success for having a cleaner and a greener world. So friends, there are many, many important speakers present here and before we have the Honorable Minister to inaugurate the program and light the traditional Indian wild lamp. As we, regarding lighting of lamp, we say, when one lamp lights another, nor grows less, nobleness and kindleth nobleness. Deep se deep jale, to deep jalane ke pahle, jo humare do pramukh vakta, Dr. Markhande Rai, jo UN Habitat ke senior advisor hai bhi, aur humare Dr. S.N. Pandey, जो the Global Open University Nagaland के प्रतिकूलारी पति हैं, वे उन्होंने जो बातें कहीं हैं, उस पर आधारित अगर आपको कोई प्रश्न पूछना है, तो ये समय है दो तीन मिनट का, जब आप प्रश्न पूछ सकते हैं, उसका ये उत्तर देंगे, so I keep the house open and all of you present here. If you want to know more from these two learned speakers, you are free to ask questions, please. Yes, please. In, through the various programs, we educate our children about the environmental studies and how to preserve our environment and all recycling. We were taking actively part in. And now, of course, plastic free. Uh, you know, so that children do not use plastic bottles and they drink in a glass bottles. But what I feel is that, yes, uh, I'm, first of all, I'm really grateful that you are uh, taking part in uh, at a higher level, in, at the you know, postgraduate level and doctorate level. But I still feel that government has to do something when it comes to collecting the garbage. Because in Australia, uh, I'm not just copying other countries, but just giving you an example, that there, in every home, there are three dustbins, even in 
the kitchen. One is the food when we peel the vegetables or the, or the fruits. The other is the tea bags and stuff. And then third is the recycling. That means the government actually sends the collecting, uh, you know, trolleys or, or bags or whatever twice. So one is for the recycling and one is the normal garbage. So the normal uh, garbage is very less, which, which actually goes to the landfill. So the food feelings and all that, that goes straight to the farm and actually used as a menu. But unless and until we have this strategy in India, separating this doesn't really help too much. Sometimes, I, even I personally feel that how much you avoid, but sometimes I feel, what am I going to do with this? I keep collecting and collecting and then disposing of maybe to the kabadi wala or whatever. But then when you look at their status, they also sometimes, how they're using it, how they're recycling it, we have no idea. But I think we need to uh, come down to that level and say, let us make a decision that we collect it separately and we send it to separate places. Um, this is just a suggestion from my side. Very good suggestion. That after it is collected, uh, the biodegradable and degradable both should be collected and then through the proper appropriate technologies, the conversion from garbage to gold must take place by the appropriate authorities and then only the purpose of collecting it. I endorse it. And we will talk to the government and we are going to take a decision so far, resolution and the recommendation is concerned. Thank you. Sir, please, please. 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 Please, अब जरूरत इस बात की है कि जो हमारे वाचडॉक्स हैं जैसे आप पत्रकार हैं या हम संस्था हैं जैसे ही हम देखें तो इस बात को हम इंश्योर करें कि कंप्लेन लिखने के बाद उस पर अमल होता है कि नहीं कंप्लेन अगर आप लिख दिया तो पहले तो यह पता कर लें कंप्लेन कहां-कहां के जा सकता है पुलिस को भी किया सकता है पर्यावरण विभाग को भी किया सकता है जिला कलेक्टर को भी किया जा सकता है तो अगर वो नहीं करते तो इस बात को आगे बढ़ाना होगा ताकि जन जागरण हो और एक अवेयरनेस प्रोग्राम हो और उसके बाद हमें पैर नहीं काटना है इसके लिए मनोवृत्ति परिवर्तन भी कराना पड़ेगा तो दोनों का मिश्रण जब होगा तभी मेरे विचार से बात बन सकती है पर्यावरण को लेकर के जैसे प्रधानमंत्री जी ने स्वच्छ भारत अभियान के तहत एक सामाजिक क्रांति पूरे देश में जगाई लोग अवेयर भी हो रहे हैं स्वच्छता के प्रति लेकिन उसी तरीके की एक क्रांति क्या लाने की आवश्यकता है कि हम पैर लगाएं सभी लोग कम से कम पांच पेड़ लगाएं जैसे अभी बारिश का जो है समय आने वाला है मानसून आने वाला है तो ऐसे में क्या होता है कि पूरे देश में लोग पेड़ लगाने की जो है एक प्रक्रिया शुरू करते हैं लेकिन इसको सामाजिक रूप कैसे दिया जा सकता है मैं समझता हूं कि पेड़ लगाने की जो प्रक्रिया है उसको और भी तंदुरुस्त करना पड़ेगा एक जमाना था जब लोग पेड़ लगाते थे और अब पेड़ काटने की परंपरा आ गई है आज के जो सयाने लोग हैं बूढ़े लोग हैं या बच्चे हैं किसी को भी इस बात की चिंता नहीं है कि पेड़ों की के कटान से कितना घाटा होता है अगर हम रोज यह सोचे कि जितना कागज इस्तेमाल करते हैं अगर एक पेज भी हम बचा लें तो सालाना कम से कम 50 लाख वृक्षों का कटान रुक सकता है कितनी बड़ी बात है इफ वी ट्राई टू से वन पेज तो वी कैन स्टॉप द फेलिंग ऑफ 50 लाख ट्रीज 5 मिलियन ट्रीज दैट वे हमारी जिम्मेवारी है हमारी जवाबदारी है कि इसके बारे में हम ज्यादा से ज्यादा लोगों को जागरूक करें और जागरूक करने के बाद क्या बात है भाई आप लोग को जा रहे हैं तो अब देखिए कोई जा भी रहे हैं आ भी रहे हैं तो जब तक कार्यक्रम चलता है पर्यावरण संरक्षण के बारे में ज्यादा से ज्यादा ज्ञान प्राप्त करना हमारी जिम्मेवारी बन जाती है और साथ ही साथ जहां तक पेड़ों की कटाई का सवाल है इसके लिए हम ज्यादा से ज्यादा अवेयरनेस लाएं प्रशिक्षण कार्यक्रम लगाएं और लोगों को बताएं भी कि पेड़ को रोपना भी इतना महत्वपूर्ण है उससे ज्यादा उसका मेंटेनेंस है जैसे अभी जून जुलाई अगस्त सितंबर महीने में जो वर्षा के दौरान पेड़ रोपना अच्छी बात है 
क्योंकि उस समय रोकने से पेड़ों के जिंदा रहने की संभावनाएं बढ़ जाती हैं लेकिन उसके बाद पेड़ मरने लगते हैं तो अगर हम ये सोचें कि एक आदमी अगर पंद्रह या बीस पौधों के गोद ले ले और अपने घर के अगर वो पौधों को नजदीक जाके देखे तब बात ज्यादा बन सकती है और मुझे पूरा विश्वास है कि आगे हमारा काम भी बन सकता है हमारे आदरणीय मंत्री जी पधार चुके हैं कृपया खड़े होकर मंत्री जी का स्वागत करें और भाइयों, फ्रेंड्स, लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन, इट्स अ ग्रेट डे एस वेल एस एन ऑस्पिशियस ओकेशन व्हेन वी हैव द लर्डेड यूनियन मिनिस्टर इन द पीएमओ डॉक्टर जीतेंद्र सिंह जी, हु इज़ नॉट ओनली द मिनिस्टर इन द पीएमओ एस इंडिपेंडेंट चार्ज फॉर द नॉर्थ इस्ट डेवलपमेंट ऑफ नॉर्थ इस्टर्न रीजन बिसाइड्स मेनी अदर म which is more than 38 years old, and we have been working day and night to protect our environment, especially after the learned Prime Minister started the Clean India campaign, Swachh Bharat Abhiyan. We have started many, many new training programs, and we have trained more than 10,000 young boys and girls in the area of cleanliness, hygiene, and sanitation. With these words, we are pleased to honor the Honorable Union Minister who has spared time on this office of Friends, now is the time for the lighting of the traditional Indian wild lamp. May we call upon the Honorable Minister Saab to come this side and we will go and light the lamp. Also, like the honourable Union Minister, to kindly release this important publication. And the other is on peace, environment, and youth affairs. We would like to request Dr. Markande Rai to kindly present this book to the Honorable Minister with a request to him to kindly release this unique publication. we have another book which is a very important book foreign policies of prime minister narendra modi this is a book which relates to all the good work he has done for having 
and strengthen relations between India and the rest of the world. We call upon the Honorable Union Minister Dr. Jitendra Singh Ji to kindly release this book and dedicate to the world citizenry. RSS, Rastriya Swain Sevak Sangh, Darshan, Drishti, Chintan, Laksham, Yogdan. I have made this book in five years. I will be able to do it with you. I will be able to do it with you. I will be able to do it with you. Rinku Paji. Please come and offer flowers to the Honorable Minister. We call upon representatives from Nagaland, Ms. Katia and Ms. Ruth, please come. Thank you, Paji. I tell you what I need. Delegation from Nagaland, please come. The Honorable Minister is in charge of North East Region also. Please give a big hand. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, today we are celebrating the 38th anniversary and annual day celebration of the Indian Institute of Ecology and Environment, which is the main organizer of the National Environment Convention 2018 but which is the only institution of its type in India for taking care of environmental education, advocacy, awareness, pollution monitoring and control, natural resource conservation and management besides environmental impact assessment, disaster mitigation and management, sustainable development, GIS and remote sensing. A group of institutions led by Dr. Priyaranjan Trivedi under the broad umbrella of the World Institution Building Program initiated the World Environment Day celebration from 5th June 1972, the same year when the United Nations organized the first conference on environment and development at Stockholm in Sweden. The Indian Institute of Ecology and Environment joined the World Environment Day from 5th June 1980. The, the, this day, the Indian Institute was established. This was two years before the government of India established a Ministry of Environment. Today and tomorrow we will be discussing two themes, namely role of school, college and universities in protecting our environment besides the United Nations theme, beat the plastic pollution. In, the, in this context, the selected schools and colleges have been invited to receive Plastic Free School or Plastic Free College Award of the Year based on their contribution towards making their campuses free of plastic products. We welcome the Honorable Minister and the High Commissioners and Ambassadors from and their representatives. Thank you very much. To Kar Sharma, to briefly dwell on the Swash Bharat Abhiyan training movement, the cleanliness test at the national level being conducted by us, Dr. Sarma. A very good morning to all of you. Good morning. Uh, respected Honorable Minister Sri Chitin Singh Ji, <coughs> we would like to welcome all of you present here on the species occasion of the National Environment Convention coinciding with the World Environment Day. Celebrations and launching of the national cleanliness test being conducted by the National Institute of Cleanliness Education and Research headquartered at New Delhi. The idea behind conducting the National Cleanliness Test is to test acquired all the cleanliness tests against the cleanliness against the students and teachers regarding cleanliness, hygiene and sanitation by providing them self instructional study material and finally to evaluate their knowledge with the help of an online or offline test to be conducted in their respective schools and colleges. 
All the interested schools and colleges besides universities and institutions of national importance will be invited to participate in the national cleanliness test to be conducted in all the states and union territories of our country. This year theme for the World Environment Day is Beat the Plastic Pollution. The idea of keeping this theme has come to ensure a cleaner and greener environment ensuring in the very idea is envisaged by our Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi Ji. Our Honorable Union Minister in PMO, Dr. Jitain Singh Ji, will kindly appreciate the good work being done by the Indian Institute of Ecology and Environment with the active cooperation of environment, with active cooperation of more than 900 universities, 10,000 colleges, and 50,000 schools from all over the country. We are confident that our efforts to make we are confident that our efforts to make our country more clean will merit our country. We are, con we are confident that our efforts to make our country more clean will merit the consideration of the policymakers. Thank you. Thank you very much. We are going to start the <coughs> national cleanliness test from next week, and from all over the world, the students will come to get their knowledge tested about cleanliness because we have got a manual which is online and the students will learn more and more. We want the blessings of the Honorable Minister. Now before the Honorable Minister inaugurates today's program, we have two books more which are to be presented. One will be presented by Dr. S. N. Pandey, our Pro-Chancellor of the Global Open University Nagaland, The Changing Dimensions of Social Work, written by Dr. Timotam Su Ao. Ramnath Kovind, From Ranks to Raisina. I have written this book in Hindi, and we would like the Honorable Diplomat, Mr. Gondar from Fiji, to kindly present this book to the Honorable Union Minister, with a view to requesting him to kindly release this book. He will release it. Please present. Mr. Gondar from Fiji. Last book. This is this will be presented by Dr. Markande Rai, who has jointly authored this book with me, Spirituality and Religion. It has taken five years for us to really write this book, the interface between spirituality and religion. 